Hey, Evan, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Uh, I talked to you on Sunday. You were getting ready for Florida State. What did you see since Sunday on uh, film? Because I know you just started, you know, when I was talking to you, you just started looking at them. How dangerous are they at a three and five squad? <laughs> I promise you, there's no coach that's going to turn on the and be excited about playing Florida State. Uh, they got they got players everywhere. I mean, uh, they're very experienced up front and offensive line. They, these receivers are massive. Uh, I mean, number 18, Tate, he's 6'5", 225, 30 pounds. Uh, great ball skill guy. Uh, number 89, he's 6'3", 220 something. At number eight, a great player. Uh, he's not as big, but man, he's a he's a heck of a playmaker for them. Uh, I mean, they Acres is considered the best back in the country uh, coming out of high school, and man, he's as advertised. He's big and strong, uh, averaging five and a half yards a carry. Very good player. Uh, the tight end is the outstanding player. Is though they use him well. And then the quarterback. It's just gotten better and better. He's not a true freshman anymore. He's gotten better and better and better as the year has gone. I mean, they've had a tough situation. You know, they lose a probably a Heisman candidate uh, with their quarterback, and now you got a true freshman in there. And, you know, they've lost some close games, uh, but they've been in, in position to win. And, uh, you know, that's because of the type of talent that they have. And, but this kid has really improved. Uh, he can push the ball down the field. They do a great job with their screen game. Uh, they'll max it up, take some sh- sh- shots, uh, but you know they're 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 built by running the football. I mean that's who they are, and uh, you know they can run the ball and you're in trouble. Uh, so you know it's going to be a huge challenge for us. They, and then Jimbo's a great coach. They do a good job of just formation and, and creating leverage, whether it's in the passing game or the run game. Uh, they do a good job of anybody we play, you know, schematically year in and year out, and uh, and then defensively. I mean, they got, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They got about nine or ten guys that stuck for them last year, uh, you know, a number of games. So, a bunch of experience. They got some freaky dudes in the secondary. Uh, Led by that number three, Derwin James, he is unbelievably uh, long and athletic. Uh, And then they're they're, they're excellent up front. I mean, number nine, Josh Sweat is a great football player. 91 is good at the tackles we've seen. Uh, 99 is a great player. I mean, they got guys, they got a, they just, they got a bunch of them. Uh, so, all their guys are back at backer, and um, just a really good team. So, I mean, they're just typical Florida State. So, you know, the only thing different with Florida State uh, this year, uh, it's just it's just the record. Uh, you know, that's it. And, uh, but we, the, the personnel, the, the talent, the athleticism, it's just typical Florida State. They just had, they've had I mean, three games and been kind of the last play. And uh, like I said, a, a freshman, a true freshman quarterback in a, in a difficult scheme. He's had to kind of learn on the ropes. Uh, this is an outstanding and uh, well coached. You know, it's just typical Clemson Florida State matchup. Uh, two good teams, and, and uh, it's going to be a, be a tough one. Well, good luck this week. Clemson and Greensboro. 